Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you about five of my favorite Roblox plugins. Now, I already did a video about this a while ago, um, but I found five new plugins that I really like. So I'm going to be telling you and showing you how to use them. So anyways, let's get into this. So for starters, um, I want to start off with a plugin called Parts Plus. Now, this plugin is actually made by me. Um, so what this plugin does is it gives you access to a menu full of a bunch of different parts. Uh, there's also settings to configure the parts. So... Basically, Roblox only gives you these parts to build with. So you have a um, cylinder, you have a truss, which you can climb like a ladder. You have a corner wedge, a ball, um, a part, and a normal wedge. So these are all the parts that Roblox gives you to build with. So Parts Plus gives you a menu full of many parts that Roblox doesn't give you. For example, let's just stop randomly. Well, that's a wedge, but right here we have an icosphere. Uh, and then over here, we have a half hollow cylinder. Um, uh, we have plenty of different shapes here, and we're going to be adding more in future updates. So there's also a search bar. So let's say we want to get a um, a rounded cube. There we go. Rounded. There we go. Now we have a rounded cube. There's rounded cylinder, a rounded cylinder right here. There's a lot of parts that you can insert and use to build. So there's also settings, so we can do um, a setting to set the transparency of the parts to, let's do 0 0.5. So now when we spawn a part, it'll be uh, 0 0.5, the transparency. Um, we could also change the reflectancy of it. Um, so we could do like 1, and let's set this to 0, and now it's going to be very reflective. Um, there's also the anchored property, there's canical eye, there's um, locked... There's materials, which there's a menu that shows you all the materials. So let's say we wanted it to be concrete. So now the block will be concrete. Or let's do brick. Now it's going to be bricks. Um, there's also the part name. So if it's t if you have automatic typed in here, um, it will automatically name the part um, what it should be named. But let's say you want to name all the parts uh, walls. So now we have a wall. You see it's called wall. Or it's actually called walls. So we'll just name it wall. Uh, right here, see it's called wall. Uh, everything is called wall now. Now, I think if it's empty, it should also automatically name it, but I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. All right, so you want to have it say automatic, um, and then it'll automatically name it. There's also a color thing over here. So let's say we want our bricks to be red. There we go. Um, so you can reset the settings over here as well to get the normal color again. And there's also custom size. So custom size will change uh, the size of the part. Um, now this can be, this is a toggleable because let's say you set the size to like 5, 20, or 5, 10, 7. It could look alright with a, uh, with a block, but with a ball, or a sphere, here, uh, a ball, it does not, I mean, this looks fine, but let's do like a, a, uh, a smooth corner wedge. It looks a bit, a bit strange. There's also like couches or trees so if we insert a tree uh it's a bit squashed and same with like an npc <laughs> um so yeah that's that's basically parts plus now you can also close the menu by pressing here and open it there now there's also another feature if you press control and then space this menu opens up or you can insert scripts so let's say we want to insert a script there we go now it's inside of our npc and it's just a plain empty script it says uh print hello world or print parts plus plugin instead of hello world. We can insert a local script, a module script. It's completely safe. Um, now, if you want to, uh, if, if you do install the plugin, Roblox will tell you that it's dangerous because it inserts stuff into your game. But it's completely safe. It's only saying that because we insert uh, different shapes and these empty scripts that's it besides that it's completely safe now there are fake versions of the plugin so if you're going to download it only download it from the link in the description anyways that's parts plus so moving on we have um let's see so we have viewport frame editor <laughs> so this is another one of my plugins but it's a really really useful plugin so let's say we want to make a viewport frame of this tree it's a bit annoying to make normally, but if we select it and just press on insert, you'll see how now we see the tree. Now we can position our camera however we'd like. So we can go to settings, we can center the camera. So let's say we're far away, we can center the camera and it rotates to, towards the, 
to the towards the part uh, to center it, obviously. Um, now, I'm just going to select this. Now, if we press on a check, it'll make a viewport frame of that model. So, right over here, you see we have tree. Um, we have a viewport frame with the with um, the camera and the tree. Now we can delete this. Uh, so we could do this with anything. So let's say we wanted to make a viewport frame on this wedge. So insert. We could get a close up, and there we go. It's as simple as that. We can uh, insert multiple things as well. So insert, uh, insert. No, I guess I guess I didn't script it to work with multiple things. Sorry. I guess it's only one model or one part. So there we go, and we can press X to remove it. So that's a viewport frame editor, pretty simple to use, and it's a really, really good plugin in my opinion. Next, we have a plugin that is a bit complicated to explain, or it's, it has so many different features, so I won't be able to go uh, through all of them, but it's a very good plugin. So this is called um, Build V4. So there's, um, so I'm, I'm not going to explain everything. I'm just going to explain a few things that I use this for. But this plugin you can use for a lot of things. So you can use it as a mirror tool, which I'm not sure how to do it entirely. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure how the mirror tool works. But basically, you can use it as a mirror tool. Whoops, accidentally closed it. Um, there's a triangle tool which will uh, create three parts in a clockwise. Yeah, all right. So if we. Oh, okay, I got it. So so you select on three different parts and it creates a triangle between them. So if we select on the couch, and then the tree, and then this cylinder it'll make a triangle got it so i'm um, i keep on forgetting that if i uh open up one of these roblox default tools it closes it so there's a bunch of different things there's even terrain but um i i mainly use this for the path layer which is a very nice plugin so we can um why is it not working it's not working <laughs> Um, hello? Oh, oh, right, right, right. I totally forgot. Um, I got, I got mixed up with the path layer and the line creator. So the path, uh, the path creator and the path layer, we want to, we select on a part and then we basically make a path. So we can select from there to there to, let's say there, and then back to there. I, I just have, uh, snap studs on. And there we go. Now we have a path. So let's say we want to make a path from, uh, here. Or let's do it from here. Oh gosh, so it, it actually uses the couch. But um yeah, there we go. Now we have a, a triangle path. Um it's usually best if you um just use a part. So part. So we can select this and we can, you know, make a path this way. This is what it's best for, I think, at least. Uh anyways, that's enough of the path layer. We have a line creator, which will basically um, make lines. So the line creator is basically what it says. It's a line creator. So we can make a, a line, say from here, uh, to here. And there we go. Now we have a line. We can make a line from here to here. Or, well, actually, it's a bit, it has a bit of a, uh, rotation, a bit of a dip. So if we make this zero, um, it won't really have a dip. But if we make it, let's say, like 10, You'll see that whenever I make something, it's very. You see what I mean? It 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 uh. I don't know what to call it. Um, it slacks down. I guess I'm not sure how to, what to call it. Anyways, that's the line feature. Now I'm just gonna show you one more feature, um, which is the terrain. So, this is a kind of a custom terrain system. It's not really. It, um, let's let's make a a quick little terrain platform. Or area so we'll do a little uh, a little base there we go we have the grow system which is on Roblox as well but um this is just made a bit better or it's in my opinion it's better I don't know it's kind of the same as Roblox it's just a bit smoother and we could also remove stuff with it um, now my favorite feature of this is um uh, the grow slash shrink mode which is this right here now this if you if you like select it and then click on terrain, you can move your mouse around and it makes basically hills. So this is very, very good for um, making terrain, 
especially like hills and stuff. Now there's different settings, so we can do, for example, this mode, and it'll just uh, make it go higher, just like um, without uh, making, without bending the shape to be like a, a cone. So there's there's a few different modes. I'm not gonna really explain it. Well, it, there's not much to explain. Basically, you, you use it to do uh, to like make terrain. It's very very useful. So right here, you see we made a little hill, I guess. Now, obviously, I didn't try to make this look so good, but it definitely does look pretty good. There's also, there's a few settings. So there's the radius. So we can select the whole thing. Uh, there's the, I'm not sure what this does, to be honest. I think this is the uh, strength or the, um, yeah, I think the strength, whatever. So yeah, that, that's basically what I use this plugin for. There's also the paint tool, which we can select the top surface. So let's say we make the top surface, um, not water. Let's do, or sorry, that's water. Let's do sand and let's make this, or the side surface is sand and the top surface will be this. So now if we paint, you'll see how the side, the sides are sand and the top is, um, I'm not sure what this is called, but you know, these brick things. Anyways, that's a build of V4. Now you can check out the rest of it. It's a, a very good plugin. Um, I'll link all these plugins in the description, but um, I can't go over every part of that plugin. Next, we have code stats. So code stats, I actually have open right here. It's just a very useful plugin that shows you a bunch of information about the game's code. Anyways, moving on, this will be the last plugin I'm gonna show you. It's the um, Asset Utilities. So this is a very, very good plugin. Uh, so this is a very cool plugin. So let's say we take this tree and we put it inside of replicated storage. So if we open up this plugin, we click on preview, you'll see a little box appeared in the corner here. Now if we select the tree, it'll show it in that box. So this will basically show everything that we select. Um, so if we have something inside of uh, inside of replicated storage or server script service or well not server script service because we don't really keep stuff there but if we have something inside of replicated storage or server storage or lighting we can click on it and view it now we could also press on place and it will um, place it wherever you click so it's also a pretty good stamp tool so you can uh, place it anywhere you want there's also a few settings here you can also preview um, UI, so if you have an image label um, or an image button, it will show um, what's, what the image is inside of here. Uh, and I think it displays a few other things, even audios, I think, I'm not sure. If we add an audio over here. Uh, no, I guess it doesn't display audios. Like I thought there would be a play button and you could play the audio, but never mind. So that's basically that plugin. It's a very useful plugin. Um, and yeah, I guess that'll be all for this video. If you did not see the first video where I went over my favorite plugins, I'll link it in the description. And I will also link all the plugins in the description. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And make sure to turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.